Flash flooding is a major concern across large chunks of the state due to elevation and close proximity to lakes, streams, and rivers that can quickly swell with heavy rain. Flooding is the leading cause of weather-related fatalities in the United States, and it's easily avoidable. When heavy rain is in the forecast, know those routes that usually flood and avoid them. Heavy rain can lead to rapid water rises in low-lying areas and rivers. A person can be swept away in just six inches of water. With a foot of water, a car or SUV can be swept away, and in 18 inches of water, larger vehicles like trucks can be moved. The advice is simple. Turn around. Don't drown. It's also very important to know the difference between a watch and a warning. A flood watch means conditions are possible for areas of flash flooding, while a warning means those conditions have come together and the flooding is actively happening. Don't be scared, just be prepared, and always stay weather aware. I'm Nor'easter Nick for Jersey Matters. Welcome back. New Jersey is a treasure trove of quirky museums. And in this week's Jersey Jaunt, Jersey Matters' Phil Andrews takes us to one. Phil. Well, Larry, as you know, you don't have to twist my arm to do this job. I love working for Jersey Matters. It gives me a chance to travel the state, meet some unbelievable people, and visit some incredible places. Like where I am today, I am literally in the center of matchbox car heaven. Built to last, it's a blast. I mean, let's face it, when I was a kid, Matchbox commercials were prominently featured during our Saturday morning cartoons. Heck, I even had a modest Matchbox car collection. But I gotta tell you, I was not prepared for what I saw when I traveled to the Matchbox Road Museum here in Newfield. Located just a stone's throw from Violent, the museum is the brainchild of Everett Marshall and features over 50,000 items. So, how did this all start? Well. When my uh, son was, uh, my oldest son was uh, three years old. He was born in 77. In 1980, Matchbox, the original company, went bankrupt. So I thought it would be pretty neat if I would buy one to 75 because there were 75 models. And, you know, if I bought one to 75, we'd put them away someday. Maybe they'd be worth something. And here we are. We started, we filled the basement up. But we keep moving shelves around and finding empty spots where we can put something there, you know. And that's really what gave me the idea of the museum. Matchbox actually originated in 1953 as a brand name of the British diecast company Lesney Products. Company co-owner Jack O'Dell created a toy that paved the way for the company's future success. You see, his daughter had show and tell in school, but the children were only allowed to bring things that fit into a matchbox. So Lesney created a scaled down version of the company's larger steamroller toy and hence, the Matchbox brand was born. I was very fortunate to be able to buy a collection which had this steamroller in it. And then, obviously, the collection steamrolled from that, not to use that pun, but, you know, it, and it's just great to have one of every casting. And that's my aim. It's impossible to have every Matchbox ever made. Absolutely impossible. But that has not stopped Marshall from continuing to add to his amazing collection. You recently just purchased, sight unseen, all these Matchbox. You didn't know what was in it, but you're telling me when you were looking at it this morning, your eyes lit up. The fellow was a longtime collector. He had some health issues and that's why he wanted to get rid of his collection. He told me how much he wanted and the amount of pieces that there were. And I said, well, you know, it doesn't matter what they are. And as we're unloading it, I'm finding some stuff that, um, yes. When people come here, what do you want them to leave here feeling? I want them to want to collect because that's good for the hobby. We have a lot of older people like me and, you know, older than I am. And the fellow that I just bought this collection from, they're dying off or stopping collecting because they just are stopping because of the amount of product that's being put out that they can't get and they just don't want to do it anymore. So I want the younger kids to do that. Now, if you would like to come and check out the Matchbox Rogue Museum, you have to do it by going to Facebook, looking for the Matchbox Rogue Museum page, look for the phone number on that page and call in because you can only get in here by appointment only. The good news is it's free. So gather up the friends, the family and the kids and come and check out this unbelievable museum. For Jersey Matters, I'm Phil Andrews. 
All right, thank you, Phil. My commentary is next.